I have just found the best AI powered command line interface. Introducing Context by Fleet AI. This is a project that was launched just two days ago where it enables AI assistants to have real time knowledge of Python libraries as well as documentations that helps improve large language model code generation as well as user experience. It has also entered a new world where parts of the internet are just made for LMs and entire ecosystems of content can be easily parsed with AI assistants. Now, with context, you can quickly create and customize code with natural language commands and utilize 4 million quality embeddings of the top 1,218 Python libraries. The part is about this project that is really, really astonishing is that it's completely open source and it's something that you can access right now. Now, context had done a great job in creating this video which showcases the capabilities of it. In this case, they emphasize once again that they've embedded all the documents for the top 1,218 Python libraries, which basically means that you can ask it anything in relation to Python and it will give you the best relevant generation or the best relevant answer that you may ask it. You're able to get real-time knowledge from the web, which is also amazing. You'll need to input your API key for this, obviously, it, whether that's a Serapy key or whether that's an open AI API key. This way you're able to leverage the real-time knowledge like processing so that you can access information on the go while you're using the command line interface. Now, in this case, they have an example where most LMs hallucinate even on their own documents. And we can see that does open the prompt that they've given is that does open AI provide access to the API that controls the code interpreter and Python sign sandbox inside of ChatGPT. And we can see over here that OpenAI has not publicly released an API specifically for the code, blah, blah, blah. And this is something that is false. And with context, we can see that it's able to know it better and it provides you a way more constructive response, which we can see over here on the right hand side. Welcome to the fleet context, generate and run code using the most up to date libraries. Now we can see that the input that was stated is that what are the steps in creating and running an open AI code interpreter assistant and it then focuses on giving you the best relevant answer that can help you process or basically compensate this input that is given. And we can see over here that it also helps you in coding needs, which is really, really awesome. In this case, they have stated that generate and run code using the most up to date libraries. Can you make a streamlit application that uses the new GPT-4 vision preview to caption images? And this is something that you can give specifications to in which you can work with the AI to help you build this project or this application. In this case, it's great for creating prototypes, which is awesome. You'll need to obviously input your API key to do this, but we can see in the next tab that it's able to create this caption generator with a really, really nice interface. And we can see over here, it's fully functioning and it's able to create that caption for that Spider-Man meme. Now for LMs, they have done something a little bit more complex, which allows you to utilize different LMs. It's free, it's open source, and it's something that we're gonna take a look at throughout today's video. So definitely stay tuned and let's get straight to it. We actually have a steady growing community on the Patreon private discord. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this because there's so much value being dropped over here in terms of AI subscriptions being given to you, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more. We're just evolving in the world of AI. So if you're interested in all that, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Give World of AI on Twitter a follow. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where I can offer my consulting services to you guys, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Fleet AI's new CLI, which is Context. Now, there's three key components to this. Firstly, they have stated that their AI assistants are able to possess real-time knowledge of Python libraries as well as documentations that are beyond any training cutoff, which is super, super convenient for a lot of people. Now, it's basically stating that whenever a new update or a popular library is released, the assistant of context is able to be updated and infused with the details which is something that saves so much time and it's something that you don't even need to worry about in terms of updating the libraries. 
Secondly, you're able to utilize RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation over Library Documentation. And what this basically does is that it enhances large language model code generation as well as user experience. Now this improvement empowers large language models to generate more relevant and precise code. The last key component is that with developers, you're able to rely on coding assistance. And this basically allows yourself to enter a realm where there's robust understanding of large language models that can significantly impact your project's adoption. This will allow you to have your own live up-to-date AI assistant, not just your regular AI assistant that we cover on this channel. It's something that will definitely help you in many different avenues, whether that's related to coding needs, various different programming languages, as well as with basic like assistance with something that you might require help. This is a tool that will definitely help you out in many ways. So definitely stay tuned and let's get to the next step where we can showcase how you can get this installed onto your local desktop. Just wanted to show something really cool and that's where they included the libraries and they stated that search through all top 1218 libraries by download we currently get the most recent stable release and are adding more libraries and versions every single day so it's not like they're stopping at this they're gonna keep on continuously updating it and keep on evolving this library database by including more as time goes which is awesome and you can just see there's so many 1218 which is absolutely insane another thing i want to mention is that you're able to download the embeddings locally so that you can use them in all your coding assistance as well as your projects you can download the data set or follow through the link chain tutorial which helps you do this but in the case of this video we're going to showcase how you can install it locally with the github repo so i will leave all these links in the description below and we can get to the next step where i showcase how you can install this there's a couple of things that you'll need beforehand. You will need Git, which is an application that will help you clone this repository onto your hardware. And you'll also need Python. This is going to be your language that we're going to be using to basically have this AI assistant operate within. And with these two prerequisites fulfilled, we can move forward with installation. So what I want you guys to do first is go onto the GitHub repository. And I want you guys to click on this green button over here. Copy the link and we can then open up the command prompt. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. Open command prompt up and once you have this opened up, you can type in git clone, paste the link and click enter. This will start cloning the repository and once it is done, you can basically have two different options. You can do the quick start first method, which is install the packages and run context to ask questions about the most up-to-date Python libraries. You'll need to provide your open AI key to start the session. But it also states that if you'd like to run the CLI tool locally, you can clone this repository, CD into it, and then run pip install and dash E. So there's two different options. You can select which one that you want to do. It's fairly easy. It's exactly the same thing. In this case, I'm going to go forward with using OpenAI. You're able to use LM Studio to connect this, which is something that is using local models. They stated that local model support is powered by LM Studio. To use local models, you can use the dash dash local or dash n. It gives you a step-by-step -step process as to how you can do this so you can use different local large language models. So if you're interested in that, definitely take a look at the repo and read through it properly before you start off with the installation. In this case, I'm gonna start off by installing the packages that are needed by going into the context file, clicking and pasting this pip install fleet dash context. This will take a couple minutes, but once this is done, I'll be right back. So once you have finished installing it, it will ask you to provide an API key. In this case, uh, you can input it. To get to this step, actually, you'll need to type in context. And once you have that, this will pop up where it's going to ask you to provide a key. So once I provide a key, I'll be right back. I'll be honest, guys, I was actually having troubles <laughs> having it set up on the command prompt. So I just went over to Visual Studio Code, went into the context.python file, I inputted my key. In this case, if you're on Windows, you use the set open AI underscore API underscore key equals your API key from open AI. If you're on Mac OS, you can definitely just write export instead of set and it will completely, it'll work completely fine. But once that is done, you want to then type in context again and you can start generating and running code using the most up-to-date libraries while utilizing GPT-4 as well as the 1,218 Python libraries. In this case, you can ask it something simple right away, something that can test 
coding generation is by asking it to create uh, snakes and ladder game using pi game and let's see if it's able to do it fairly fast it's going to take a couple seconds but once it fully generates i'll be right back in this case it's starting to do it but once this is done i'll be right back and we can see it's giving me the following objectives that it will do like take the approach to create this game and it follows through by creating the code for it it gives you the sources as well and it tells you like if you can run the code or not like asking me if i should run the code or not sorry and in this case if you want to go through with this you can just type in yes and it will then follow through and create the game for you which you can save onto your local host now this is obviously just one thing that you can do this is something that is very helpful and it will definitely elevate your game whether it's for coding creating different sets of prototypes or basically just constructing different things within your own command line interface in conclusion guys this is an amazing project by fleet ai and it's something that i highly recommend that you check out with the links in the description below with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out the patreon page if you want to access our private discord if you haven't followed world of ai on twitter you can definitely do so with the link in the description below and lastly Make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. With that thought, guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.